Congress Aga National President Malik Arjun Kage Kali Dimapur Public Rally Ekta Lobole Ase Itu Rally Do 12 Noon Supermarket Dimapur Lobole Ase Itu Jan Kari AICC In Charge Of Nagalin Girish Godankar Pra Congress Bhavan Kohi Madi Press Conference Loi Thagya Homoi Junai Dishe Tai Kushi Ke Congress Party Do Nagalin CEO Ke Lok Pai Gina Free Or Fair Election Thagya Bole Mangi Bo Kushi Kile Mane Tai Khan Booth Capturing Ho Bole Thagya Khobor Kunuba Pai Ase Kushi Congress Pra Kushi Ke Tai Khan MCC Laga Niyam Pura Mani Bo Or Alak Political Parties Khan Gibi Mani Bi Koi Gina Appeal Kui Dishe We are very happy to uh, to announce that uh, tomorrow, the 16th of April, our All India Congress Committee President, Sri Mallikarjun Khargeji, will be addressing a public rally at Dimapur at 12 noon. So, our entire organization is uh, gearing up since yesterday and we appeal to the peace loving people of Nagaland who wants to bring a change at the Delhi government as well as to have their voice in the parliament from Nagaland by electing the Congress nominee. We appeal everyone to come and join the rally and extend their support to India Alliance uh, candidate and this election is about the future of India. This elections is to safeguard our constitution, to safeguard our values that we believe in, to safeguard the purity that we have in India, to safeguard the idea of India that all of us are protecting and are bound to protect for the future. So these elections will decide the future fate of the country and uh, the entirely if you see the various parts of the country the mood of the country is changing people are no more believing the chedin and the fake promises and the fake guarantees of mr modi and i'm confident the people of nagaland have already decided to vote for decisively to our congress and india alliance candidate in nagaland we are apprehending the booth capturing. I am confident that the, the upright officers of election commission including the CEO and various uh, pulling officers and the entire machinery of the election commission will take this matter very seriously. We are going to meet the CEO now. We already sought the appointment and we will insist that there should be free and fair election. No other person other than who is physically present with his own identity, with the documents that has been laid down by Election Commission of India, only they should be allowed to vote. There should be completely free and fair elections. And there should not be one, one, one incident of booth capturing. As an organization, we will take utmost care to do everything on each and every booth. Our BLAs are in place, our booth committees are in place. We also appeal uh, the village committees, the vigilant villages, also to ensure that booth capturing does not happen. Let the people of Nagaland decide. The democratic right is given to every individual, rich or poor. He may be of any caste, any religion. One person, one vote is a franchise that is given to us. So one person should exercise only one vote. No village head, no other person, nobody is authorized under the constitution. The modal code of conduct also does not allow that. We don't want any illegalities, any violations, any booth capturing happening. Now, according to them, 
they have already concluded that they have lost the election they want to win with they are attempting to win a losing battle through booth capturing for which we appeal the people of nagaland to be more and more vigilant and if any incident should be reported to the election authorities who are well equipped to handle any such incidents and we appeal to the election commission of india delhi and our delhi leaders are also going to approach the election commission of india of course one copy from and from nagaland pcc also will be uh, will be sending them will be petitioning them after meeting the ceo and we are confident that the booth capturing will be the story of the past the reforms that the election commission is trying to bring is the trust will be transparent and we respect and will abide by all the mode of uh, model code of conduct we will not do anything that is beyond model code of conduct so we'll abide by that and we appeal all the other political parties to also do so